Hey, what's going on guys? This is Nikki Wonder here. Thank you for coming back to my channel today. And I'm coming to talk to you real shortly guys about something that I'm going through um, relating to my hair. <clears throat> if you uh, have noticed on my channel, my hairstyle changes periodically between my videos and that's because I have been going through a natural hair transition for about six months now. Uh, almost six months now, I made the decision back in November of 2015 that I would no longer put the creamy crack in my hair, you know, the relaxer to straighten my hair. Uh, after seeing um, some websites and some, you know, doing some research and even a couple of YouTube videos, I realized how much damage that was actually doing to my hair. Um, I was getting my hair trimmed and cut on a regular. I was seeing my stylist every six weeks. I was washing it, you know, every week. And I always wondered why my hair would never get past a certain length. Um, it just, it would grow and then it would stop. And so I talked to my stylist and she said, well, it could be the fact that you're still doing the relaxer. And the fact that by the time my hair got to my shoulders, it was so thin and weak and frail from having been through so many perms along the way, you know, from the root all the way to the end, I've probably permed it 10 times by the time it gets down here to my shoulder. And so she was saying that it could be that your hair is so thin that once it gets here, it touches your jackets, it touches your shirts, it touches your jewelry, it's ripping your hair off very easily. And even though I was getting it trimmed and getting it trimmed, it's still, was just not enough. It, you know, when you're damaging your hair or when you're putting that creamy crack in your hair, if, if your hair has 10 levels of, of proteins in it, it strips it down to like two, basically is the way I understand it. So you're really not, you know, doing yourself any good by continually intentionally damaging your hair. And, uh, one of the videos that I saw about it was, uh, you know, this girl, she was like a science major and she talked about, all the, the different chemical pH imbalance and things like that that happens during a relaxer. And she actually took a strand of her own hair and put it in the relaxer and she left it in there for maybe an hour or something. And she came back and all there was was a brown streak of color. That was it. The hair had actually completely been dissolved and eaten by the relaxer. And I thought about having done that for so many years, you know, it's, it can't be good. <clears throat> So I started, uh, you know, this transition and right around January is when my hair really started to fill out, uh, right at the base of my scalp and I could no longer wear my hair normal. I had to make a decision to put it in a protective style while my hair is growing out. And so I have actually been wearing a crochet braid style. And here soon on my channel, I actually will show uh, how I'm going to take out the style I currently have in so that you guys can see, you know, how much my hair has grown and how I take them out and prepare for my next trip into the salon, which I will be getting my uh, crochet braids put back in fresh and, you know, have another style that I can wear for about a month and a month and a half to two months. Um, during the transition from things that I've been doing, like I said, I've been wearing the protective style. I've also been taking vitamins to help the strength of my hair. Um, I take biotin and even some prenatal vitamins, multivitamins to help my hair grow strong from the scalp as my scalp was feeling, um, it was feeling that addict. It was having a reaction, I should say. And when I would talk to my stylist, she would say, well, think about it. You know, you've, you've had your scalp addicted to this creamy, you know, creamy crack basically. And now you're taking it away. All of a sudden you're going to have unusual itching. You're going to have more dandruff than normal. It's just going to be a weird time. And so I've been taking the vitamins to kind of help my hair grow out stronger and, and give more vitamin E, uh, in my system. So that's a little uh, heads up for you guys on a little journey I'm going through with my natural hair process. Like I said, I'm about six months in and still going. I have not done the big chop yet. I, I will be sure to share that with you guys whenever that time comes. It probably will be, I predict maybe the end of the summer, I'll be ready to finally cut off uh, everything that's 
still on my head that's relaxed and so I will share that with you guys when the time comes please like share and subscribe and also comment below if you all have gone through natural hair transition if you know somebody who's gone through it or if you're contemplating it um, please do share that with me and I hope to see you guys on my next video take care bye bye